Uh, today we went out on the R1 and there were a lot of unpredictable twists and turns in the road. They were doing road construction on several of my favorite roads. I was really disappointed. So it forced me to head out in a direction that I usually don't go in. And I managed to find something that was interesting to ride. But again, these back roads, uh, there's a lot of twists and turns in the road. And when you're headed down a road where you don't know what's around the next bend, mm, I'm always a little cautious, maybe more cautious than I really have to be. But when I'm riding alone, that adds in another thing I got to consider. Today the weatherman said it's going to be beautiful. A typical fall day. It's going to be in the 70s. The wind is going to be blowing leaves out into the street. And I can't wait to go riding. Now I've really been waiting patiently to see who is going to send me some money for a bigger garage. Guess what? The postman hasn't gotten here with the check yet, I guess. So I guess we just have to move some bikes around, which we always do. That's what part of having an old rusty bike collection, what's always moving something. It's never that the one you want to ride is in the front. Never. In, in all the years, it never happens. So we got to do our move the bikes around thing, and we're getting out on the open road. This really does get old in a, <laughs> very quickly. It doesn't look like it's a big deal, but every day to do this, hey, yeah, 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 it wears you down. Luckily, luckily, I'm a good with Sylvester Stallone here moving by. And this is always the problem, moving them all around <laughs> gets annoying. But you know, I guess, I guess I shouldn't complain. I could have a smaller garage. That might be that might be something to keep my humility in line. So I always think they look like they're uh, fighter jets on an aircraft carrier here, but I, I don't know. It's time to decide. So finally, all the bikes are put in order. And now, the biggest thing of all, pre-flight the bike. I know this is the part Dallas likes. <laughs> Cleaning up the bike, checking the air and the tires, checking the oil, checking the chain is lubed. It's just normal when you want to go for a ride. Now, I know not everybody does it, and making sure the radar detector is connected properly. As Don Quixote used to always say, we're ready for more misadventures. <laughs> Don Quixote, what a, what a, I don't know what to say. One of my favorite movies. Hey, right, Karen's ready to do her farm harvest thing. We got to feed the fish yet. The boys, breakfast is served. Breakfast is served. The early worm gets the bird. And believe it or not, we still have a couple of flowers here on the farm. It's like a whole summer of beauty. It has really been just a spectacular summer. I don't know any other way to look back at it. And we're going to have a good ride today. The weather should be perfect. Now before I leave, I wanted to check my oil filter supply here because what's going to happen, we're coming up on, two bikes are coming up on their oil change very soon. And what I want to do is try to do them both in one day if I can. Okay, I got both of them. We're ready for an oil change day on two bikes very soon. So before heading out on an open road, it looks like it's going to be a beautiful day all day, not a cloud in the sky. Karen would like me to mow the grass and set up the Halloween decorations and uh, it'd be very convenient to do that before I ride because I don't like to get back from a ride and have to do that stuff. So do you guys want to go for a ride on the R1 today? Oh, not really. I don't like those back roads. <laughs> now, this is something that Karen and I really do enjoy every year. We love decorating the house. So I had an extra cup of coffee to put me in the mood for this. I have to mow the grass first, of course. And then we set this all up. It really is a lot of fun, I shouldn't say anything. There'll still be plenty of time for a ride today. Thought I'd mention, my 25-year-old lawnmower has two pair of vice grips holding it together. There's a pair of vice grips holding the handle and one holding the kill switch that doesn't work anymore. <laughs> but it still mows grass. It's like me. It still gets the job done. I don't know how much more fun than this you can have. Now all I gotta do is pull a plug wire off because there's no kill switch. Ah!
have it. That, now that is a serious lawnmower. Vice grips holding it together, vice grips holding it here. Now that, that's a not exactly an R1 of lawnmowers. We're ready to decorate. Now the reason I showed a lawnmower, because Alan Milliard shows his lawnmower. He's got a real antique, a hundred year old lawnmower. He puts it on his, some of his videos. He feeds the birds, I feed the birds. He's a genius, I don't know about me. Not exactly, Wendy. So as soon as the decorations go up, we're out on the open road. Just waiting for Karen to have another cup of coffee. Okay, with that done, even Karen agrees, it's time to go for a ride and get some exercise. Karen and I have worked on this house. It's 100 years old or more than 100 years old. We've worked on it for 30 years and it's not done yet. It still needs work. And in the time we did the decorations, it just got nicer out. So the open road is calling, that's for sure. Get that moisture out of the exhaust. Just an endless supply of beautiful back roads with almost no traffic at all. It just couldn't be any better. Boy, I couldn't imagine a nicer day. Look at the blue skies. I call this a blue skies day. Almost all the riding I do, I do alone, and I do on these back roads that pretty much have no runoffs. In fact, 99% of the time there's no runoffs. So I tend to be a little cautious and uh, just be super careful. There are beautiful stoneworks here. I think they would have some Halloween decorations. Well, some people are into it, some people are not, I guess. Just like R1. things I've been monitoring on this is the uh, the rear tire is a Michelin 2 and I already have a replacement Pirelli that I wanted to test but this Michelin 2 it just seems like it's going on forever bunch of carbon fiber parts on this bike that I made from scratch but the hardest part to make are the headlight covers 
They are not available anywhere, any place, any time. I made those two from scratch and they are really a hard job. Always one of my favorite spots to shoot a few pictures. This is part of the Morris Canal system. Nice waterfall here. What a day is just playing out so nice. I'm in the mood to go buy some pumpkins. Now as the weather's getting cold, one of the things I do is take a couple of clicks out of the rebound and the compression on the settings on the forks and, and the back too, just because the oil gets colder. Now the lowered forks are one of the modifications that worked out real well. It makes the bike feel a little bit more aggressive, especially with the handlebars that are on it now and the seating position. But it fits me. See, now the thing is it fits me. I don't know if a taller person, a shorter person, it would fit. Looks like they called for a limo for me over there. Yeah, nice limo. Gotta have my R1 in a limo. Maybe their R1 is a limo. Who knows? Nice water fountain. I like to have that in my pond. Every time I set up to take a picture of the R1 with the silver wheels, I try to envision how it's going to look. The MT-09 would look with the same silver wheels. I still have, I think I still have enough paint to do the wheels, but I guess we'll find out. Check this out. Look, look at how this guy is hiding and shooting radar. I wonder if he could turn around and catch me. I'm sure he could. That's why we have the Valentine right there. They're hiding in the bushes, hiding in the trees. Oh.
always have to keep in mind and keep it fresh in my mind. This is this is a bike without traction control. This is the last year they made the R1 without traction control. So it's uh, it's truly an exciting bike to ride. painted so many wheels for myself and for friends and Glenn and Vince and oh, who else but it the thing about custom painted wheels it changes the whole look at a bike ride is putting me in a mood to go buy some pumpkins with Miles this weekend. We usually go buy stuff and I, I bet it's been seven, eight years in a row if Karen's made him a costume, I've made him a costume. He still, he still enjoys going in costume and all of them. Beautiful day we had today. It just couldn't have been nicer. Being out on the R1, always just a lot of fun. But it's time to get home to the farm and see what Karen's got cooking. Well, aren't you glad we decorated for Halloween this morning? <laughs> now I can sit on the porch like a uh, King Tut. <laughs> the inside. All right, I can't wait to come inside. I think she decorated inside while I was out on a ride. And boy, Miles loves this stuff. He gets his Halloween costume every year. Kind of a big thing for our family. So Karen's out doing her daily harvest. <laughs> you got anything today? Just when you think it's the end of the season, you wind up and there's another bucket of tomatoes. Wow. So while I'm out riding, this is what the bride did. Oh, she's got a little thing up here. Oh my God. Very cute, Care. There's still something missing. Of course, we have front and door. We have Reese for every season and every holiday. And of course, our breakfast tablescape. Are we going to have a tablescape in a dining room too? No. My friends are going to think I'm crazy. Maybe they're right. And of course, fresh tomatoes ripening on the windowsill. <laughs> well, we are farmers, you know it. So just to share with our friends, we have our Halloween decoration. And while I had one ride, here we are. And we're all set. We're ready. Ready to celebrate Halloween. So I hope you did enjoy the video. I hope you're in a Halloween mood. We are. And <laughs> I'm sure we're going to be looking at decorations in the future. Uh, thanks so much for watching. And a fall of the year is just, uh, to me, it's the best season of all. I like being a little cold. I like wearing full leathers. I really don't like wearing the summer riding gear as much. I never feel like I totally have the same amount of protection as with winter gear. And we're coming up on that season right now. And uh, the Halloween thing always is the beginning of the really good riding season. The leaves are going to start changing. The temperature is going to start dropping in the morning. 
and it's just the best time of the year for motorcycling i think anyway we're going to be trying to link up with some of our friends very soon get some group rides going on a weekend maybe never know how that's going to play out we have a market meetup coming and there's just a lot of activity in the world of motorcycling and then when that starts to fade away and we start to get our first snowstorm we'll be working on motorcycles pretty much every day and those projects include painting bikes doing the wheels doing customizing making parts from carbon fiber it it's just it never ends it's a it's a 365 day a year commitment and to be honest it's something i enjoy it's something I enjoy editing the videos and sharing them with my friends. And I enjoy sharing the rides like today. It's just a great hobby and it keeps me young. So thanks so much for watching. And maybe we'll even see you tomorrow.